la ba sha ba da 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 she ba da ba da ladies and gentlemen welcome to the hottest seat with me uncle slappy named uncle slappy for no reason at all welcome to this deep dive conversational show that's going to be around tonight asking questions of famous people only the greatest a list celebrities Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. Are you ready to meet our first guest? Our first guest here on The Hottest Seat, the newest show in the Fun Day in the Neighborhood cinematic universe? I think you are. Please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands and feet together at home. Whistle out the window. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. Folks around the world, John Hanna! Yeah! Oh, John. John, it's so nice to see you. You brought your own audience. That's so kind of you. It's my own audience that I keep in my back pocket. Yeah, you could just keep that microphone right up uh, uh, by your face. Right here? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's right. That's how mics work. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, folks, kids of all ages uh, who probably shouldn't be watching this, but most importantly, fans of Fun Day, our neighbors, we love you, and today... Our fun holes. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> just ask a whole bunch of rapid-fire questions of our guest here. We're just gonna jump on in, and this is gonna be, oh, I don't know, a shorter show than you would normally be used to with Fun Day, but uh, it's gonna be more meaningful, perhaps? No, it's going to be more colorful, perhaps? No, it's just going to be different. Right, John? Yeah, yeah, a little, a, little, a little something different. Yeah, a little something different. That's what we like. That's it, yeah. So, you're on the hot seat. It's time ooh, ooh. for Slappy to ooh, turn up hot. the heat. First question. Yeah? What is your idea of perfect happiness? Do you mind if I... Smoke a Popeye cigarette? Of yeah. course. Yeah, go for oh. it. This is a Popeye uh, uh, f- a free zone. It's, a, it's actually one of our sponsors. Oh, we have yeah. a sponsor. We have a sponsor. It's our first sponsor, Popeye I... Tasty Candy Sticks. Mm, delicious. Delicious. There we go. I got one right here. And we'll actually be giving a uh, lucky winner at the end of the show. Oh. Uh, a year's supply. A year's oh. supply. What yeah. do they have to do to get this year's supply? And that's one box, right? Because you can't really handle more than one box. Uh, precisely. Uh, they have to uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh-huh. and Venmo, uh-huh. Venmo me, uh, uh, two hundred dollars. Two hundy. Two hundy. Seems like a fair value. Yeah. You know, speaking of Pop fair value, what is your idea of perfect happiness? <sighs> that's a that's a good one. Yeah, you're starting off. You're starting off pretty hot with these with these hot hot seat questions. Well, I'm inspired by the uh, author Proust. Um, what was it? Can I can I hear the question again? Yeah, what is your idea of perfect happiness? I would say a nice bowl of tomato soup, uh huh, homemade, uh huh. Canned stuff. That's okay too, but personally, I prefer homemade. Made and in from the can in your home. In your home, and a uh, grilled te- grilled cheese sandwich on a nice sourdough with like an aged cheddar. Oh, how many years aged? Oh, I'm th- I'm thinking like a fifty, a fifty, 50 year, year old, fifty year old, a fifty year old cheddar. Oh, it's mostly mold. <laughs> oh, that's the best. It's the spice. It's the people don't get this, but mold's actually pretty good for you. Yeah. Well, you seem fearless. What is your greatest fear, John? <laughs> My greatest fear. I would say uh bats. Bats. Yeah. What trait do you most deplore in yourself and others? Oh, nepotism. Which living person do you most admire, John? Uh, I, 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 Joe Biden. Really? Yet you hate nepotism. I uh, can I be can I be honest with you? That's Slappy? what this show is. You're on the hot seat. Let's I be think honest. I said nepotism, and I'm not entirely sure what it means. I'm just pretty sure that Bo Biden kind of 
uh, and the other Biden kid, they kind of got some some uh, some sweet <laughs> some sweet uh, help from old pops. Isn't one of them dead? Yeah, I said the wrong <laughs> one. You said the I wrong did one. say the wrong one, who certainly did not get any help. And my apology <laughs> to the Biden family for all if of this. If they're watching. Moving on. Moving Your on. Your greatest next. extravagance. Oh, my greatest extravagance. Is uh, it those overalls? Oh, it's definitely the overalls. Okay. Well, but if I was to pick something else. Uh huh. It would be um, one of those inflatable, you know, the swimming pools that are above ground. Oh yeah, they're like blue, and they sell them at like Walmart. I like that your greatest extravagance <laughs> is an above ground pool. <laughs> yeah, an inflatable one because you can what? take them down, you can put them away. They're not just practical. It's very practical. What quality do you most like in others? Sorry, I'm just. I would say probably um, uh, money. Money. You like other people's money. I like and when people that have, they have money. I like when people have money. Interesting. You're into above ground pools and <laughs> people with money. There's yeah. a real juxtaposition there. It's a little bit of a juxtaposition. Which words or phrases do you most overuse? Oh, yeah. oh boy. Is it uh, fun holes? No, it's oh boy. I just said oh boy. Oh boy. If you were to die, and that is to die, to die. If you were to die and to come back as a person or thing, what would it be? Uh, uh, d- d- Dracula. Most treasured possession in this world. Um, my, uh, my, uh, of, of uh, a pair of socks. Uh, oh. a, a, a green pair of socks that I own. Are they are they important to you? Who gave them to you? Um, I bought them for myself. Oh, so it's the only thing that you purchased for yourself. Yeah. Huh. My aunt pays for mostly everything. Oh. What do you regard as the lowest depth of misery? Who in, in my life or in general the lowest in depth of misery? Everywhere, everywhere. I'd probably say Crocs. Oh, Crocs. Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's the, the lowest depth of misery. Yeah. Have you tried the Euro Crocs? They're like sport Crocs. Oh, uh, no. What makes them? What makes them sport Crocs? Uh, well, they're more sleek design. They're uh, they have more grip on the bottom. They're great for gardening. I'll get you a pair. They go well with your overalls. Your favorite occupation in the world? Oh, welder. Welder. I yeah. thought you were going to say France. Which historical figure? Did you say France. You, uh, yeah. Occupation. Moving on. It, which historical figure do you most identify? Speaking. Napoleon Bonaparte. Why is that? Overalls. I, it's the overalls, and but also I think. Um, our desires to uh, transform the world into a utopia uh, under the uh, under the leadership of one sole individual. Oh, okay. What would you say your favorite names are? Oh, Kevin, uh, Jasper. Got to talk about him. Uh, <laughs> are you referencing the movie? Yes, got to talk, talk about, about Jasper. <laughs> you got to talk about Jasper. What is your greatest regret in life? Could you share that with everyone? Do you want me to say that to you or to the camera? Uh, directly into the car- uh, camera with your eyes a little glassy. Um, probably investing in Popeye cigarettes. And he's gone. That's our show. Oh, he's back. I just had to check on the gas. I thought I left the gas on, uh, uh, but I didn't. You got it's a whole okay. setup back there? Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm cooking some uh, shakshuka, shakshuka. With, uh, with tomatoes and eggs. It's delicious. Mm. Anyways, uh, how would you like to die? Oh, uh, <laughs> a motorcycle accident. When would you like to die? Probably uh, nine, uh, two, 2046. Would you like me to be involved? You can if you want. What is your motto? Oh, you you know you got ham when you got three pounds of uh, pig in your pocket. Classic. What is your favorite flower? Um, pansies. Chocolate is great. What shouldn't you put it in? <laughs> uh, I I would say um of of. It ornate uh, vases or vases, as they say in. Um, Why the should you South never United put States? chocolate in an ornate vase? Oh, because it's it's meant for flowers. It's just darn darn it's, right. It's rude. dumb. It's rude. It's super rude. It's so rude. Someone's got this ornate vase that they've probably had been probably been passed down 
by uh, their great aunt and then their aunt's great aunt. And um, and you're just going to put chocolate in it when it's meant to display the beauty uh, of of uh, flowers, of floral arrangements. Exactly. It's, it's so rude. What does a tree taste when it absorbs sunlight? What does a tree taste like when it absorbs sunlight? No. What, what is the tree tasting? Like what flavor does the tree taste when it's absorbing the sunlight that it eats via... Uh, the photosynthesis. I promise I was not high when I wrote these. It's like a, it's like a bisque. Delicious. Like a lobster bisque? Yeah, like or a lobster bisque. What type bisque. of bisque? Lobster bisque. It's, it tastes like lobster. Lobster, yeah. Amazing. Hmm? Can you describe the main difference between a macaron and a macaroon? Isn't one of those the, wasn't he like the ex-president uh, of France? <laughs> <laughs> the other one is a, is a tasty little... For the Treat. sake of this interview, I'm going to say yes, macaron. <laughs> that, was, that, that macaron was what I was talking about. Yeah. Would a weighted blanket improve your sleep, John? Um, yes, but no if you're claustrophobic. Oh, okay, because you would think it's too much like a tunnel. Oh, yeah, it would just trap you there. You'd, be, you'd just feel so trapped. What technology excites you most in regards to fighting climate change, John? Oh, oh that's a good one. That's hard hitting hard hitting questions. Um I would say uh the um you know those old timey typewriters? I do. Yeah, one of those. Like there's a How does that exactly fight climate change? Well, because I just feel like they don't require any electricity. Uh-huh. So I think if more people went back to typing on typewriters uh-huh. as opposed to, you know, laptops. I don't, Ooh, wanna, I don't laptops. want to the laptops of the you know, um, I don't want Apple to hear us talk about this because that would suck. Um, but uh, yeah, typewriters. Apple, close your ears. Close your ears, Apple. If you're watching head of Apple, what's his name? Tim Cook, same last Tim name Cook. as uh, my uh, hand. Your hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tim Cook, if you're watching, do not hear this part. But uh, typewriters, they, uh, they, don't, they don't need any gasoline. They sure don't. And if there's anything that you've learned today, it should be that. Typewriters do not require gasoline. They don't gasoline. require gasoline. And gasoline is, whew, that is killing the planet. John, you ever been stung by a bee? No, I actually haven't. A wasp? That's a true, no, neither a wasp. A scorpion? A, nope. a bad CRA assessment? Uh, yes. Why is the sky blue? My son asked oh. me to ask you this. <laughs> well, that's actually because, I mean, I heard that the sky is blue because it's just the water reflecting. Oh. Is that true? I am not a scientist. I am is a anyone, skeleton friend. I heard a laugh from it. Is that true? I think it has something to do with the moisture in the atmosphere, though. Is that true? Moisture? Maybe. Oh, we got a Neil, who is a scientist, He's a technologist. A scientist. He said maybe. We so maybe, the internet so. will tell you that later. Maybe yeah. look it up. How do snakes sleep, John? Um, in a, in a circle. Oh, always. Like all of them. Yeah. Like they just get in a circle together. Like a big old big old snake circle. Yeah. Now, do they swallow each other's Ouroboros. tails to go to sleep? Yeah. Ouroboros. Is that what it is? Huh. Yeah. What are rocks made of? Rocks are made out of uh, fine p- particle matter that has uh, been slamming up against each other for th- uh, millions upon millions of years. Billions. 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 Billions of years. And uh, yeah, you get rocks. Got rocks. Got rocks. Well, that's interesting. In addition to lemonade, what would you make if life handed you lemons? Well, I would say... Uh, if life handed me lemons, I'd probably make a lemon loaf. Oh, delicious. Now, what are the other ingredients of a lemon loaf? Um, flour. Uh-huh. Um, uh, if you're gluten-free, you probably want some sort of uh, variant of a flour, like a rice flour. Variant. Very popular word these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, especially in regards to different types of flours. Yep, like uh, chana flour, rice flour. Rice flour, um, is a uh, almond flour xanthan gum is that a flower? Xanthan gum is delicious. Xanthan gum, but maybe not a flower. It's not a gum. 
It's not, is it? No. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. And rocks are made up with smashing rocks. Smashing rocks, smashing rocks. Huh. What? A, so just xanthan gum? Is that how you make your lemon loaf? Yeah. Hot damn. Just a lot of xanthan gum. Xanthan gum. If you could, yeah. Bill and Ted, your next party, what three historical figures would you invite? Well, first of all, uh, uh, I, uh, uh-huh. I really stumped you, it sounds uh, like. Oh, oh. Uh, sweet. Uh, s- if you got, if you got a, if you got a ham, yep. you got three pounds in the back of your pocket. That's that's old phrase. I'm bringing that back. Um, <laughs> I probably Napoleon Bonaparte because I already mentioned him. Oh, Napoleon, your favorite um, historical figure. Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Yeah. Why Kate Blanchett? She seems like she's actually pretty pretty cool. Chill lady. She's a cool, chill lady who will She's got really great style, and maybe that will rub off on Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah, I think him and Kate Blanchett would hit it off. And Blanchett, there has to be a third. Bonaparte, who's your third? James Owen Brown. Wilson, James Brown, James Brown, King of Soul. Oh my god, King of Funk, Soul, brother, brother, the Funk Soul brother, the Funk Soul brother. Check him out now, him, James Brown. So get on up with that thing. That sounds good. Yeah. Would you learn how to dance? Hell yeah. Would you dance with Kate Blanchett and Napoleon Barnaparte? I would. What would you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Well, first of all, I'd be like, hey, sailor, yeah. um, we've all been working really hard. Really hard. And, you know, we go to bed at a reasonable time. And we, of course, we all want to party. Like, we that'd really be really do. nice. We're out at sea for like 30 days at a time. We're like 30 days in, 10 days off. It's in we, but we got a job to do. He works hard for his money. I do, and the other sailors do too. And so I don't think it's fair that one sailor gets to go get smashed, and then he's hung over and uses that as as an excuse to uh, not put in his uh, his hundred uh, percent. He sails hard for his money. You know, it, the lobster fishing is it's hard. Yeah, and when you're out there, you don't have time to get drunk. Yeah, I think he's just. I would tell him, you get your life together. And you where did he get that booze from I, anyways? He, he probably... He probably uh, did he ferment all of the fruit that you were going to eat so that you didn't get scurvy? Yeah. He did. Fuck that guy. Yeah, and he's got like... He, it's, I'm just kind of tired of... He's got, he's got a couple kids. He's got a wife back at home. Oh. Like, how long is he going to be doing this? Yeah, he should grow up and realize that he's got a mortgage. He's got a mortgage to pay. Because we've, can, we've given him so many chances... And I just, I think I'm, I'm You here. hear that, Randy? You hear that, Randy? You're on, you're on watch. I hope you're watching, Randy, because I like, as your friend, I This is an intervention. Uh, I can't do this anymore, Randy. You got to get your life together. Randy. Otherwise, you're out. You're, you're out of the sailors. Walking the plank. You're walking the plank, but he's not really walking the plank because- Okay. It's costly. There's insurance costly. issues. I also, understand. like, you got to be really like uh, open waters if you want to do that. Oh well, yeah, you got to get rid of the body, waters. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Randy, we're just we're, <laughs> we're talking just about get, other stuff. Just a couple of guys. Just a couple of just a couple of guys hanging out. Just anyways. Just anyways. Fuck Randy. Fuck. Speaking him. of that, marry, fuck, kill. Randy. Garbage can, steel wool, birdhouse. Marry, fuck. Oh, kill. that's an easy one. I would marry, a uh, birdhouse. Huh. Actually, it seems, seems <laughs> like the easiest to fuck. <laughs> I can I start over? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, now that I think about it, I'd marry the garbage can because oh, yeah. you always need a place to put your garbage. Yeah, you don't run out of garbage. No, mm. no man does. And then I would. Uh, what was it? Barbed wire? Uh, I hope wire? not. Just just steel wool. <laughs> steel wool. I would still uncomfortable for one of them. <laughs> I'd kill steel wool. Okay. And then yeah, I'd fuck the birdhouse. I mean, we'd all fuck a birdhouse, <laughs> wouldn't we? Yeah, I mean, but I'd make sure that it has like a nice varnish on it because I don't want to get All splinters. Right. Name <laughs> five protests you've attended. Okay, that's that's um there was the 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 fuck uh fuck seals protest. Wait, um, what? We're just against it's uh, we're against harbor seals. What? There's a lot of them in the Vancouver Bay area and we're just like fuck seals. They're sleeping on our boats. Is this something that you did one night? When you were on shrooms, you like saw some, and then we're like, "Let's take this to the streets." Yeah. Okay, that's one. Fuck the seals. What um, else? Then, then there's the. 
what's the what's the one with the the guys who are really uh, they're really excitable Incels? about they're really excitable about things i can't think of the word uh, anti masks no they're like uh, hockey fans they're like the canucks riot like it's another i can't think of the snap it's, they've got rhythm it's they're they're like a group of exclusively men okay hockey players and they love they're just like really they're really just comfortable with who they are white privilege they're really comfortable and excited about like just being a man. So this is like you went to a sauna once? Like a bathhouse once? That's what I'm saying. That's not a protest, John. <laughs> did you go to... It was one of those nudie ones, too. Did you go to an anti-Trump uh, rally? No. How about not- how about the, uh, the uh, women's march? Oh, I definitely was at the women's All march. All right, there's two. I love women. Um, what other protest did you go... 420. 420? I've been to 420. Okay, that counts. Um, I went to dumb, a uh, Bob Seger concert. That's a protest and a yeah, half. Yeah, that's what I was I'm saying. That <laughs> protests my ears. <laughs> <laughs> You're too old. <laughs> All right, John. This next one is a long walk. Okay. Keep with me. I'm, I'm hearing. I'm keeping with Think you. Think of your favorite flower. Oh, yeah, pansies. And bra- wait. What? And brand of car. Oh. Then turn away from the camera and replacing your name with your favorite flower and the brand of car, I want you to turn to the camera and use those new words as your James Bond name. Wait, so I'm replacing... Like Daisy, Gerber, Daisy, Toyota. <laughs> okay? So as serious as possible, this is your audition okay. to replace Daniel Craig. Here we go. Did you break? Ford, uh, how does the James Bond thing? He goes Bond. James Bond. James Bond. So, yeah. Flowers, first name. Yeah, so you do the car. Car, first name. Okay. Ford Focus. Pansy Ford Focus. That paid off. In <laughs> one sentence, what Here, is your one. financial retirement one. plan? One more. <laughs> um, uh, d- uh, the Toyota Tercel. Rose Toyota Tercel. That one was great. You got the job. I got one more. Um, d- d- Tesla. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> That's it. It's just one word. No flowers. <laughs> what was the next question? <laughs> Lily. Okay. What? Lily Tesla. <laughs> in one sentence, is your plan for financial retirement? Oh, easy. Bitcoin. Really? What coins are you investing in? This uh, was on the show last night, uh, David and Ken's uh, Comedy Hour with Music. It's on every Saturday at Saturday uh, at 7.30. Uh, fun show. But they did a whole thing about Bitcoin. Uh, David is very into Bitcoin. Tell me, how are you going to retire on Bitcoin? Seems like the or kind of coin. guy who'd be into Bitcoin. I would. You got some coins? Uh, Bitcoin is... Um I would do Bitcoin. It's pretty pricey. How much? Ethereum is apparently better, right? What's Ethereum? Ethereum is another coin. And then there's Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Which is the coin that Elon Musk is behind. Is that? He's the Doge father. Did they name that after the meme? Yeah. The dog? Yeah, it's a a silly thing that the internet created. And it was kind of mocking. And now it's one of the uh, most popular uh, coins, I believe. You know he's hosting SNL. Yeah, I heard that. Some people are not excited. Uh, he's a billionaire. He should probably do more. But probably. you know what? He did do that $100 million, uh prize for the uh, uh, capturing of carbon. Uh, so still, he's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. Anyways, so that's your plan. You're going to buy a bunch of Bitcoin, and yeah. it's going to go up well, and not down when Peter Thiel sells all of his coin. I didn't know that Bitcoin was just like the blanket term. I was just saying Bitcoin. Yeah, what is the blanket Term. Is it Bitcoin? No, it's not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is its one own of coin? them. It's cryptocurrency. cryptocurrency. Crypto, that's crypto, the word. crypto. So there's Bitcoin. There's Dogecoin. Thanks, Tedra. There's uh, what are the other ones? Uh, Fartcoin. Uh, okay, come on. Doink, get, re- doink. get real. Come on. Uh, Slazenger flake plot. Oh my god. 
Ethereum. What Ethereum about Ethereum had a huge crushing rise just last week. Is Dumpy Coin one of them? Dumpy Coin <laughs> should be one of them. <laughs> I Moving would invest on. so much in Dumpy Coin. When <laughs> fishing, do you prefer salmon, steelhead, or compliments? I thought steelhead were a type of salmon. Are they a trout? I think so. I'd probably go with salmon. Steelhead, I think, are like they like to live in with the, salmon. the salt area of rivers. Like wh- th- where the sea and the river meet. You ever do any steelhead fishing? I have been used as bait. Oh. Yeah. I, guess, like, I used to be a shark fisherman. Mm, but shark like meat, but you got no meat on those bones. Huh? Not anymore. Hey! 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 So which do you like to uh, fish Salmon. for? Nice. But also compliments. On I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Slappy? I love it. Your bones are looking especially uh, the shiny today. Is there like a? Stop, is there like stop, a? Stop. What'd you put like olive oil? What I kind did. Of oil? I oiled like up my oil? bones. I just oil up my bones every day. It's a little. It's a. It was the way I treat myself. It's like a calcium-based sort of cream. Yeah, calcium cream. You, know, you could just rub cheese. Trademark. All, like, like a soft cheese all over your body. That has a lot of calcium in it. As extra aged cheddar as it could be. Or like you take a bath in a fondue fountain. Oh, yeah. That'd be real good for your bones. Fondue fountain fondue party. Fondue fountain party. Anyways, on you, an atomic... I, yeah. Yes, John? No, I got nothing else. On an atomic level, what do you think about farts? Define atomic. All right. So where atoms are, uh, are connecting in molecules, um, what do you think of farts? Um, Normally, they're stinky, but on an atomic level, what do you think they are? Well, I think they're ruining the planet. Really? Farts are? Yep. Oh, he's gone again. Ding! What Shakshuka you was ready. Oh. So you think that they were ruining the planet. Wow, yeah. okay. Well, I think a lot of people blame the cows, but... They shouldn't. Cows don't. Cows ain't doing nothing. I guess Ooh. all that methane... Yeah, that I guess that is true. But we got methane in our farts, don't we? Oh man, I got so much methane in my body. And humans, they fart a lot. Like our diets, like we're just eating so many like beans more. I feel like musical fruit. The more you eat, the, the more, more you, you shit. toot. Next question: What is the worst usage of the "Honey, I Shrunk the Kids" technology? Oh, probably the. The male uh, genitalia. The oh, shrinking dinkies. Okay. Honey, I shrunk my penis. <laughs> you have an apple, an orange, and $50. Yeah. How much money are you promising to give me after this show? Uh, I'll give you like a, I, I got, um, you, like, you take coins? Do you think existence is just a simulation? Hell yeah. Brother? Brilliant. Is it really wise to uh, contact other life in the universe? Yeah. Why? Because it just, it just sucks. Earth is so boring now. So let's say they're smart enough to hear us. Yeah. Would they also not be smart enough to create weaponry to destroy us and, and steal all of our life-creating resources? Our life-creating resources. If yeah. they have enough technology to go to another planet, yeah. why would they even bother taking our resources? We're not doing shit. Okay, we'll bring this up maybe after the show. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yay. Yeah, because I delicious. used to say nay, but it's pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Taste is taste. It's like Britney Spears, right? I don't know what that means. Okay, about that fifty dollars. Will it be in small bills or one fifty dollar bill? Do you take Toonies? It's a romantic comedy starring Kirsten Dunst and Josh Groban. Oh. They are both starting their first day at the Sriracha Factory. Ooh. One of them is a failed pro skateboarder, and the other a high-end doghouse designer and builder. That's just what Groban. is the title of this movie? Three it's guesses. It's called I'm Hot, But I'm Not Hot Enough for You, Baby. That's pretty good. All right, take another swat. Um, Sriracha... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one last shot. Um, okay, this 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 summer coming to you. Uh, <laughs> this is just the tagline. This is the tagline. This, this is in the it. title. It's like a it's like a trailer. I'm just setting it up. This summer, she's 
an ex-professional skateboarder, and he's what does he do again? He's a, he's, a doghouse he's designer. A doghouse designer <laughs> for big fancy dogs. It's Josh Groban and Kristen Dunst in, in Man. I love your skateboard, <laughs> but boy, would I really like a bottle of sriracha right now. All right. So I, I thought of two on my way here after yep. making up this one. These are my ones. Uh, all right. So uh, they both are the Sriracha Factory, Pro Skateboarder, Doghouse Builder. Title is Wheelie Spicy Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you say bish? Bitch. Because uh-huh. do- dogs. Okay. Wheelie second part, Spicy <laughs> Bitch. Wheelie <laughs> Spicy bitch. Second one, if it's a Hallmark movie, it's sauced for the holidays. <laughs> sauced. Okay, I think I got another Aww. one in there. You got another one? Okay. Yeah. Um, you ready? Yep. I'm grinding on you, bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. You are an bad. astronaut in the Musk army. Fighting the local Mars rebels. The Do Martians. you prefer the Cool Martians. Ranch mealworm rations or the Picante Grub Ramen tubes? <laughs> Probably the Cool Ranch mealworm rations. Because fucking Cool Ranch, I love right? Cool Ranch. Oh, man. It's so the best good. flavor Dorito. You have four apples, three pears, one cell phone. What happens next? Uh, four apples. Three pears. Three pears. One cell phone. One cell phone. Oh, well, that's a party, baby. That's a Zoom party. Yeah. You got the phone, and you can call up one of your best buds. You'd be like, I got four apples. Yeah. How many bananas do I have? Uh, none. No, zero <laughs> bananas. <laughs> three pears. I got three pears. Yeah. I got four apples, three pears, man. How many apples and pears do you have? Uh, I got none. Well, <laughs> can I come over for this apple and pear party? Hell yeah. I got so many. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so great. But we got to do it outside. Hey, can we watch Sauce for the Holidays together? Yeah, but I like it more by its... Uh, <laughs> it's European release title. Grinding on you, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's to love about salad bars? I think the variety of lettuces. Huh. Well, You John, got that romaine? Variety of lettuces. Yeah. What, what, let's name five. From romaine. Uh-huh, arugula. One. Rebecca Romaine. Uh, Rebecca Romaine. And then... Kale. <laughs> Donna Kale. Donna Kale. And... Uh, Is kale a lettuce? Romaine. That's the same one. Lettuce plants. How about butter? Butter lettuce. Butter lettuce. And then, um, iceberg. Iceberg. Vanilla the iceberg. <laughs> Vanilla iceberg lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. And then any other le- lettuce? I don't know. Do they, do they make other ones? Oh yeah. Like what? How about a frisé? A frisé. Yeah, sure. Is that, is that what you just said? Yeah, I did. Where's the frisé? It's like a, it's like a frizzy kind of, it's like a, it's a type of, uh, it's like a bitter, bitter green. Is it good? Yeah, it's all right. I'm trying to remember what cabbage. That, I'm trying to remember what the, the cabbage is not lettuce. It's, it's cabbage. Not. What is it? It's a cabbage. It's its own thing. Yeah. But it's kind of like a lettuce. I mean, in that it's a green plant that is leafy. I guess yeah. But there's the other one that's like uh, green but has a red top. Green but with the Should red. Should we call top? it red top? What about the purple stuff and the mixed greens? What's that? The purple stuff? That's a drink that they have down south. Uh, okay. I believe some of them call it <laughs> scissor. Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> hey, um, John, I just wanted That's to ask slappy. you one last question, yeah? which is, what have you learned today about yourself? Well, I learned today that I have no idea what cryptocurrency is. Yeah, so maybe we'll learn about that and uh, report back uh, next time we meet all of our fun day uh, fun holes. Yeah. What are else? we are we done? Yeah, buddy. That's thirty, bro. That was thirty. It's actually thirty-four minutes. Thirty-four. Yeah, that's it's all a little, your questions. A little hot shot of all. Did of our you have questions. any more questions? I was just I'm I'm just asking like uh, what uh, if if people want to be reminded about our next show, uh, where should they go? Uh, they can uh, find out on our Instagram page, Instagram uh, at Funday Baby, at Funday Baby. Also, our Facebook page, which you can find as Funday in the Neighborhood. I'm pretty sure it's also at Funday Baby if you put in the at. Yep. Little sign. Uh, we have a website. Yeah. Funding Funday in the Neighborhood dot ca or Funday Baby dot ca. Yeah. Um, 
That's about it, I guess. It is, isn't it? Our next show, I believe, John, is called Night at, at a, a Museum. museum. A Night at a museum. museum. We don't know the museum, yeah. but it is a museum. Yeah, it's nothing to do with that franchise. It just happens to be named similarly, but it has nothing to do with Ben Stiller or anything. It's just about, we're going to learn about uh, uh, nature and history and things like Old that. In the uh, and he's in our show, pro- possibly. He might be in our I'm show. I'm going to send him a, a cold email. Oh, real cold. What's that? There's like a stink bug or something down there? I don't know. There's like a beetle of some sort. Gross. Anyways. Is He's it? the next guest. I should probably, Our next guest. I should probably uh, get out of here so he can get yeah. in the hot seat. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and folks and neighbors, thank you so much for joining us on our very first hottest seat. John has been in the hottest seat and we've learned a lot about him. Yep. We love him still. We we'll love him always. What's a, such, a, such a fun time to learn about him. If you want to be on the hot seat, write John or me, Uncle Slappy, and maybe we'll have you on the show. We like just having our neighbors or huge, big-time celebrities like, like Owen John. Wilson. Yeah, and if you know Owen Wilson, say, hey. We should get Owen Wilson on the show. On the show. Yeah. That would be a dream. Yeah, we should be. We you should think he's going to be in town anytime soon? I'm sure that we could get some comedian that does an impression of him. He says whoa a lot or whatever. No, that's wow. Joey. He goes wow. Wow. He goes Who wow. Who says whoa? I think it's the guy from Blossom. <laughs> it's a deep cup. Forget Joey it. Fatone. I don't know who's the guy. Deeper than that, it is Joey. <laughs> it's Joey it something. It's Joey, but it's not. Yeah. Anyways, wow. ladies and gentlemen, wow. thank you so much for joining us for the hottest seat. Woo! This is where the lights go out and we go. Yeah! Ah! So, are we still live streaming? I should probably. <laughs> <laughs>